Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and a retirement worth having. When we're thinking about what to do and how to do it and where to go for food as we're either living in homelessness like me from cybercrime, identity theft, and police brutality that make me want to shout to fund the police and other things of community mobbing and community stalking and, well, community abuse of all kinds of nature, I'm looking at how do we keep people in food. Part of Maslow's hierarchy of needs, we have to eat. It's a part of our human DNA. We've got to have food and we have to have protein. We have to have some sort of water based beverage with a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt, so that we can keep on living. But in life, where do we go for food? There's a handful of pantries that are usually associated with Christian organizations or churches. And that's a good thing and it's also a bad thing. The good thing is that usually it means that we can get clean, healthy food. The bad thing is it's usually a limit on the food we can get and it's almost always never quite enough to really feed a person for more than a few days who lives in true homelessness and it might be enough to feed a family for a week for those who live in real homelessness. But usually you can't attend these food pantries more than once a month so that's good and it's bad. If you're truly living in the streets at that lowest of low poverty levels where you really have no place to go for shelter other than where the Lord leads you, it can be difficult to know who to go to for food. Canned goods are really important, but if you have players in the community like mine who basically stole two can openers from me, broke the third one that I had of mine, it's sort of hard to eat out of cans. It's sort of difficult. So obviously packages of food are also really important, and things that are not crushable, where they would break and powder down into something next to nothing for food. In life, we have most of the time to think about what is real and what can we feel from what we're doing in our life. But if we're not paying attention to real life, we're not able to set money aside for, well, food. And that's difficult. So the food pantries really help us a great deal. The Eastern Illinois Food Bank is known for delivering food. And there are some of the church organizations that actually will put a box down at someone's house for them if they can't get out and over to the pantry, or they might drop something off. The hardest part is, though, to get them to take you seriously about your allergies, your preferences, and the things that, well, you need extra for food poor food rather. Most people like me, who are like me are protein deficient, which means we need a lot more proteins in terms of canned ham, canned chicken, canned meats, canned and if possible some cheeses that last a little while that you can cut every day with a simple knife and use in the streets. But openly it's getting people to know what to donate for, to food pantries that's really essential. A lot of times people will donate out of day cans, which isn't very nice for people, but they'll donate esoteric things that you really have to have a stove or an oven to cook, like pumpkin pie spice or something like this. Who the heck has time to make a pumpkin pie, at least at this time of year? Usually that's a Thanksgiving or a winter time of year sort of thing. But the point is that real food has nourishment, has proteins, has carbohydrates like in pastas and other things. In life, we have moments of time to talk about food insecurities, but food insecurities are something that a lot of people face and a lot of people need to really get through. What I mean is we have to be frugal shoppers. We have to know where to shop for food, how to get the right food, how to interact between different stores to get exactly what we need for our own human health, our own cellular health, our own uplifting of our bodies, our own uplifting of our cells, our own oxidation of our blood and all the things that food does for us.